Okay, I've been at this for quite a while. I really don't know what this last clip is. And uh, honestly, I don't think this clip is going to change our perception of these clips in general too much. So I'm thinking I'm just going to end off now. Because really, there's no point in trying to get every single detail and be all pedantic about it if it's not going to contribute to our understanding, right? So I'm going to call SB now and see what happens. Uh, let's see. That's not a call, that's a freaking chat message. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Yes. What's going to happen? Good, so you think you understand why your mother did what she did? Oh my god, um... She killed my father. <laughs> I, I guess so, yes. I'm glad, Sarah. I'll be waiting outside. Log off and we can meet over the road. Oh my god, so we are... We are the daughter. Holy crap. Ending credits. General thoughts on the game so far, while we're in the credits screen. That was... Wow... Very interesting experience. I can't say I've had any other like it. You know that someone is very confident about their story when they let you go through the story in any order you might find the clips in. That's a, that's kind of a brave thing to do, I might say, in a story-driven title. Wow. And you know, at the at the end, we might think that we came to a conclusion that's 100% correct, but the story seems to be written very ambiguously, even up to this point. I don't think I can 100% say that, you know, she has a twin, Hannah and Eve are twins, or that Hannah and Eve are actually split personalities, multiple personalities of the same person. Everything is worded kind of ambiguously, but... Yeah, interesting experience. This definitely isn't a game for everybody. I can see a lot of people losing patience very quickly, especially after they find out that we basically search for video clips the whole game. But I found that very enjoyable, the whole detective aspect of it, and whoa, what is going on with the footage. It's been watched so many times. Oh. Sarah, if you're stuck, you could always try admin random or the unlock button. What? Wow, okay. I guess that was the end then. Wow. I really love this title music, by the way, but now that he mentioned the unlock button, let's see if we can find that last clip. How do we... Unlock. Okay, so admin random. Oh, whoa! Oh, that just comes up with this like a random clip. That's not very useful in finding that last clip. Oh, come on. What about admin unlock? Account unlocked. Query maximum now set to fifteen. Well, that that clip is going to haunt me for the rest of my life. Oh my god. Let me see if I can actually look up how to find that clip. Bear right back. Okay, I looked up a transcript of the entire game, and I found the clip. 
So I think this is gonna lead us to it. Wow! I had to search yep. I never type- I know it's pronounced yup, but I never type it like that. I- I do Y-U-P and I wouldn't search that instead of yes anyway, so I don't think I would have ever gone that. Sorry. Yeah, I get it. I get it. <clears throat> yes. I guess that was when she made her mistake in saying, my name is Hannah Smith. But, oh, look at that beautiful all green square has got an achievement to go with that. And, um, yeah, I think that's a wrap for this then. Yeah, um, not much here. Oh, I never played this game. I played it once, but I forgot what this game is called. The actual game, it's not called Mirror T Tiles, but yeah, there's an achievement for getting a draw in this game as well. But I'm not gonna spend time doing this. Uh, anyways, so yes, this was her story with Mata Wellens. This wasn't a game for everybody, but I hope for those who stuck around to the end that you enjoyed it. And maybe let me know what you thought of the ending. Not really the ending, but the whole, the overall story. Did you think they were twins or do you think they were multiple personalities? No clear answer at the end. I think everyone's free to drop their own conclusions. Thank you for watching and sticking around. And I will see you all in another place in another time.